here in Brikama to visit Bamboring Sambo and his name uh, is uh, of his uh, farm is uh, Maxway Tropical Greening Farm so he create a very interesting farm here in the Gambia and he will like to explain us how he created and how this idea came to him and what uh, improvement he's uh, seeing in the future. So, good morning, good morning. Madam Camilla. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Maxway Tropical Greening Farm. As you said it, my name is Bambo Sambu. I'm the co-founder of Maxway Tropical Greening Farm. Okay, you welcome. Maxway Tropical Greening Farm, we are young Gambians and young Africans. Uh, but our aim is to reduce or to stop fruit importations. Fruit like apples, strawberries, pears, plums, olives, most of the things we export. That is why we are into this field. Secondly, our aim is to have farms in hectares, hundreds of hectares, to be producing that capacity that will be able to give us a percentage to reduce the importation rate of what we are producing. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you can see, we just started two years ago, but now, alhamdulillah, we are moving bit by bit. <laughs> Yeah. So, how this idea came to you in... Okay, as a young person growing up in the Gambia, I see it to that we are using so many funds to import certain fruits. My decision is to reduce those importations, and that is the aim that put me, because when we are to evaluate how much money we used to spend in South Africa to purchase apples, uh, kiwis, uh, grapes, and the like, is a lot of millions. So the cost of those amounts is what really forced me to start something with this. And today we are moving on. But our aim is to stop the fruit importation and we can use those money to be able to do so many things in the Gambia here. And we will create more of employment to us and it will improve the li li the living standard of the farmers too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you explain us, you are uh, focusing also on uh, which kind of production, like uh, strawberries. Strawberries. Strawberries and apples, yeah. Because this, all they are imported, but no one is producing it in the, in the Gambia, so you you find a lot of requests after yeah, you you definitely. you started producing it yeah. last year we normally have we have only six beds those are these white six beds because the demand was so high we were having calls from the supermarkets calls from the hotels which we cannot supply so this year we adjust extra 24 beds to be able to take another step whether we will be supplying one supermarket or another one hotel yeah but Definitely, our this year production will be like four times higher than our last year production. Mm -hmm. So you also say that the Gambia is very um, fertile and the production is very fast mm -hmm. compared to other parts of the world, like yeah. Europe, example. So, yeah. like, explain okay. us. The Gambia, our weather is just beautiful and nice because when you talk of growing season. When you go to the west, it is the summer and the like. The winter is not a growing time. Mm -hmm. But when you come to the Gambia, all year around is a growing season. Mm -hmm. You can grow tomatoes, apples, everything, and they will be growing stage by stage. When the first bag is up, the second bag is up, the third bag is there. You can go up to Z before the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So it's like we have more of advantage to grow our food than the west in europe mm -hmm. because there the seasons are controlled you have the winter you have the summer autumn and the like but the mm -hmm. gambia all year round we can grow so mm -hmm. definitely there is sustainability here mm -hmm. but all what we need is equipment so that to be farming industry in a capacity whereby the country will realize it Mm -hmm. or the West Africa as a region. Mm -hmm. But definitely, the soils in the Gambia, you normally find sandy looms, loomy soils, and clay looms, which are very good for 
agricultural product productivity. Mm -hmm. So definitely, as Gambia, definitely we should not be hungry or West Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the soil is really with us. Mm -hmm. So you say also about your technique of production. So it's organic mostly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mostly. Yeah. So how you are like, if you can explain us some of the main ways of organic farming. Okay. When we when we it comes to organic farming, first we start with the soil to know our soil texture, to know the pH of our soil, and to know the NPK of our soil. We normally take the test for NPK. We take the test for N, P, mm -hmm. and K plus the pH. From there, we will know what to adjust and what not to adjust. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you can see, all of these strawberries are grown organically. Mm -hmm. All what we normally adjust there is the animal dumps and chicken dumps. But the chicken dumps, we normally put them in the barrels. We ferment them. After fermenting them, we will be using them as our fertilizer, source of fertilizer. So we are producing most of our things 100% organic with no artificial fertilizer in it. And which is very possible for all the Gambia to follow or Africa to follow. But definitely, we have to respect these terms. First, you have to know your soil texture. Second, you have to know your soil pH level. And the third is the soil pH, yeah, sorry, the NPK of the soil. So from there, you can know what to adjust and what not to adjust. Yeah, because in the Africa and the Gambia as a whole, we normally farm blindly. Mm. When we weed, we want to adjust fertilizer when we mulk we want to adjust fertilizer but we don't know whether the soil need that content or not mm. so as a max from max weight tropical we want to control all of it last year we did not use any fertilizer because our npk was deficiency whilst the pnpk was all okay so it is just this year that we have k problem so we are trying to adjust them so how you will adjust it you you add yeah we normally had chicken manure to normally adjust those things but when it comes to the vegetables what we grow at home sometimes we don't mind using fertilizers especially npk fertilizer 10 by 10. okay yeah we normally use that but those ones are not grown like organically 100 percent yeah mm -hmm. okay. okay so where is the challenges you are facing in this Okay, the challenges I am facing here is having access to land and equipments because the foundation is already set. We have roots for strawberries, we have ideas and we have knowledge of so many things. But uh, as you can see, the compound is a 45 by 45 and I live with my families here. So to make a production that will be realized by a country, we definitely need a land. That is our major challenges. And secondly, equipments to work in those farms. Mm. But right now, with this small garden, Alhamdulillah, we are we are able to move with things, and we are registering so many success. Mm. Okay, mm. so thank you very much. Thank you. So we hope to to be collaborating with you in the future in in the Gambia. So thank you for your time. No problem. Bye. Bye.